Hello guys, welcome to another lecture of microbiology. So today we're going to study culture media and culture methods. So what is culture medium? It is basically a nutrient material prepared for the growth of microorganisms in the library. And so basically uh, uh, culture medium is a nutrient material or the material that contains nutrients. Um, uh, those nutrients from which the growth of microorganisms can occur. And when um, uh, when we introduce a microbe into a culture medium, we call it inoculum. And when the microbes they grow and multiply in the culture medium, we call it as culture. And now uh, the culture medium is of course composed of different nutrients that are important for the microbial growth. Now, what is cloni? Uh, cloni is a collection of millions of bacteria originating from a single bacterial cell and they are microscopically visi uh, visible. Now, uh, why is culture media formed? Uh, uh, culture media is formed so that the bacteria that we have grown, we can use it for identification. And uh, we can also purify it to study uh, certain characteristics of a microbe. Now, uh, the uh, culture media contains nutrients. Now, those nutrients should be right and they should have uh, sufficient moisture and pH and suitable level of oxygen. And the medium should uh, first be sterile. They should uh, not be contaminated at all. And they should be incub incub incubated at proper temperature. So these are the characteristics that a culture medium must have. So the first culture medium that we have is agar and uh, it is the most suitable and most commonly used and it is basically a solid uh, med uh, medium. A solidifying agent such as agar is added to the medium and uh, basically agar is a complex polysaccharide that is derived from malin algae and uh, algae uh, we, we have used algae before for thickening agents in jellies and ice creams. Now, uh, agar is basically a solid agent which we add to a culture medium and it basically consists of polysaccharides and so on. And it is uh, the most commonly used one. And agar basically melts at 98 Celsius and it sets at 42 Celsius. And 2% of the agar is used in the solid medium. And agar is put into test tubes or petri dish, mostly it's petri dish. And the test tubes in which we put it are called slants and because and in which basically we put the agar and it solidifies and we hold it at a, a certain angle so that a more area is available for growth. So this is slant when we put it when we put the membrane diagonally and then we have these petri dish in which we have put the agar medium and so on. And in the test tube you can see the growth as seen here. Next. Types of culture media, they are cl uh, classified uh, uh, based on their consistency, their constituents and the oxygen requirements. So first we have is based on their consistency. So of course we'll have the solid, liquid and semi-solid. So uh, in solid medium we have 2% agar and uh, in this basically uh, we can see the morphology of the colony pigmentation and hemolysis. For example, nutrient agar and blood agar and liquid medium basically contains no agar and uh, uh, it's basically a nutrient um, broth and uh, for inoculation and it is used for inoculation preparation basically when we want to isolate the microbe and put it into the real uh, media that's what we use liquid media for for blood culture for isolation of pathogens from mixtures next we have is semi-solid uh, uh, medium which contains 0.5 percent agar now, as you can see here, we have here nutrient broth and then we have nutrient uh, uh, agar slant and semi-solid agar and so on. And this is basically the microbes growing that you can see. Next, we have is based on constituents or ingredients. So first, we have a simple media or base me basal media that contains MB and NA. Uh, NB consists of peptone, meat, meat extract and NaCl while NB consists of 2% uh, agar which is, uh, which is basically a nutrient agar. So yeah next we have is complex media. Uh, media other than basal media is known as complex media and in this we basically add ingredients and provide special nutrients and uh, uh, we don't know the exact 
composition of this media next is synthetic or defined media in which uh, um, we prepare the media from pure chemical substances and we know its exact composition for example when we need to prepare peptone water basically consists of 1% peptone and 0.5% of NaCl in water as you can see here peptone water next we have a special media uh, or enriched media so enriched media uh, con uh, substances like blood serum egg are added to the basal media and uh, this is done so that the bacteria can exact, uh, extract maximum nutrition uh, uh, from them and uh, uh, these are basically used when we want to grow um, bacteria fast or make a colony fast and uh, a fastidious organism is an organism that has complex nutrition uh, requirement or the one that will only grow when specific nutrients are included in agar such as blood agar and chocolate agar next we have is enrichment media liquid media used to isolate pathogens from a mixed culture media is uh, incorporated in inhibitory substances that suppress the unwanted uh, organism for example saline of growth it is used for the isolation of salmonella and shigella and alkaline peptone water it is used for vibra uh, cholera so liquid uh, media here is used to, to isolate pathogens and they have explained basically because uh, those media they com contain the inhibitory substances that stop the organism or st or stop a certain thing in that organism as a result we can identify and isolate it so as you can see here we have selenite uh, selenite of broth and, and tetrathionate broth alkaline peptone water next we have is sugar media uh, a media that contains formidable substances basically sugar such as glucose arabinose lactose starch and so on and it consists of 1% of sugar in peptone water and it con and basically contains a small tube known as Durham's tube for the detection of gas by the bacteria here as you can see uh, and so in this basically we detect the gas so first we have is uh, in the first one we have bacteria in which the car uh, carbohydrates are present and result fermentation occurs and there is production of gas in the second uh, so uh, the second one is the uh, what happens after we leave it after some time is this gas and fermented products are produced and uh, the one that is negative carbohydrate fermentation in it no fermentation will occur next we have a selective media uh, in which again uh, the inhibitory substances are added to solid media for example tcbs which is done for vibra chloride uh, lga medium which is done for m tuberculosis wilson blair medium for s type uh, potassium uh, telluride medium for diphtheria bacilli. So, as you can see, for TCBS, we have Vibracoli LG, we have M tuberculosis, and Wilson and Blair, S type and potassium telluride, and diphtheria bacilli. Next, we have is indicator media, in which basically uh, the media contains such ingredients that act as indicator. Basically, the color changes of that, of that media when bacteria grows in it. For example, we have blood agar, Maconis media, and Christian's urease media. Next, we have a tr uh, transport media, which is a media used for transporting the samples. And it is used for those delicate or sensitive organism, uh, organisms that, uh, that do not survive for long or uh, they require special conditions. For example, we have stored media, which is a neon nutrient soft agar gel containing a reducing agent and buffered glycerol saline uh, which is used for enteric bacilli to uh, make it grow now a media which a differential media helps uh, in uh, uh, is basically a media that and that has uh, substances in it that help us distinguish between the bacteria for example we have meconis me uh, media which contains peptone lactose agar uterine and torquoray so it helps us uh, um, differentiate between the lactose fermentators and non-lactose fermentators because it contains lactose. So those organisms that will uh, ferment the lactose, they will be known as lactose fermentators and those will known be as non-lactose fermentators. So this is differentiation uh, media.
and those lactose formers they were formed pink clonies while no lactose formers they were formed colorless clonies as you can see here colorless clonies uh, formed a staphylococcus while staphylococcus epidermis uh, forms uh, pink clonies and so it is a lactose fermenter now uh, we're going to classify based on oxygen requirements so um, basically there are two types aerobic media in which the media used to grow aerobic bacteria uh, and anaerobic which is used to grow anaerobic uh, organisms so they should also contain those nutrient nutrients that an or uh, aerobic organism uses to uh, for their growth and anaerobic should contain those media which an anaerobic uses for their growth so example of anaerobic we have is robertson cooked meat media and thioglycerate media now we come to uh, culture methods culture methods are basically growing of the bacteria or producing culture of bacteria and uh, so why do we uh, grow culture uh, cultures and what why do we use this method well they're done to isolate uh, bacteria in pure cultures for example we have put the bacteria in the media and now uh, we have obtained a colony now from that clony or from that culture we isolate a bacteria for its uh, for uh, its study of its characteristics for its property uh, we want to study the uh, sufficient growth uh, and test it out and what nutrients it grows and how much it grows and so on and uh, the most important pharmaceutical use is to determine sensitivity sensitivity to antibiotics and to also estimate the viable counts, basically count the number of bacteria and to maintain stock culture. Now the culture methods we have are streak culture, lawn culture, stroke culture, less step culture, pore, plate culture, liquid culture, and anaerobic culture methods. Now streak and stroke, these you can remember common. So there are three S's, streak, stroke, and stab culture. And then pore plate is the most common and another common we can have is anaerobic culture method. So these five are common known out of the uh, seven we have here. So coming to the first culture we have a streak culture. A streak culture is used to isolate bacteria in a pure culture from clinical specimen. And so it is um, basically the culture uh, definition anyway. So what is this method basically? In this we use a platinum wire and uh, Basically, we take the platinum wire and it has a loop, and we uh, transfer uh, the uh, loop full of the specimen from onto the surface of a well dried plate, and we spread it on a small area at the corner, and then we just and then we move the platinum wire or the inoculum um, or the loop in parallel lines in different segments of the plate. And now on and uh, then we incubate this and uh, we get separate colonies uh, over the last series of streaks now as you can see here uh, we take uh, the loop and we make streaks across different regions of the plate and we basically start it at periphery so this is streak plate method next we have is lawn culture spread plate method so here Lawn culture is also called spread plate. So we have basically four S. Spread plate is also called lawn culture because lawn is spread out. So spread. So lawn culture uh, is done to provide a uniform surface for the growth of bacteria. And in this, basically, we uh, flood the surface of the plate with the liquid suspension of the bacteria. And this is done for antibiotic sensitive testing and also in the preparation of bacteria antigens and vaccines. So basically, uh, we have the sample bacteria dilution, basically a liquid solution of the sample. And we take an apparatus like this, which will help us make a smooth surface. And we spread that bacteria across the plate and uh, then the plate is incubated. So then the uh, clonies can form. So why, why do we do this? So that we can have a flat surface, a uniform surface. Because we have another method in which we can grow, grow bacteria on top and bottom layer and so on. And so this is used for antibiotic uh, sensitivity testing and also to prepare antigens and vaccines. So this is very important. Next we have is pore plate method and in this basically uh, we melt the gar medium. 
and the agar medium is of basically 15 ml quantity and then we cool it at 45 celsius and then we put 1 ml of the uh, inoculum into the shoe into the uh, molten agar and then we mix it and then we pour a uh, pure it to a store live petri dish and we allow it to set and then incubate and and so what is the uses of this pure uh, pore plate is to give a viable bacteria count and also for quantitative urine cultures so here is the technique basically uh, this is the one in which bacteria grow both on top and bottom so first we have here a sample of bacteria onto a petri dish we put it and then we put the uh, nutrient agar so this is basically opposite of what we do basically uh, first we put the agar and then we put the bacteria on top but here we put the um, bacteria first and then we put the uh, agar on top and then we swirl it or mix it and then we leave it for some time and incubate as a result the colonies grow on the agar surface and also a bit subsurface because the agar is also present so this is used for the uh, count of bacteria and also for quantitative nutrient uh, urine and culture. Next we have a stroke culture and is in this basically we make a slant or a gar slope. So it's a stroke like at a side and this is done uh, to provide pure growth of bacteria for slide agulation and other diagnostic tests. So stroke is done for that. Liquid culture in this we basically uh, inoculate uh, with the charge loop or we add uh, inoculum with uh, pipers or syringe and this is done uh, or we use this for blood culture sterility test and continuous culture method and disadvantage of this is that it does not provide a pure culture from the mixed inoculum next we have a stab culture and basically we puncture a uh, suitable medium such as gelatin or uh, glucose agar with uh, with a long straight charged wire and this type culture is used for the uh, demonstration of gelatin liquefaction for oxygen requirements and of the bacteria in the study and for also the maintenance of stock cultures so step culture is basically uh, done for that and last i think this is last we have is anaerobic culture methods in this basically uh those anaerobic bacteria are those which basically differ in their requirement sensitivity to oxygen for example clostridium tetani is a strict anaerobe because it contains only when the concentration of oxygen is below two um uh, millimercury and so how do we prepare uh, anaerobic culture first we produce a vacuum and we in which basically we remove all oxygen with other gases and then we have a uh, chemical method biological method reduction of media and so on so in production of vacuum we basically in incubate, incubate the culture in vacuum desiccator and by displacement of oxygen with the desiccate uh, with other gases we basically displace the oxygen for example in candle jar in which we light the media and then we uh, put it uh, under a uh, agar or a jar and so on and next we have is chemical method in which we basically add chemicals that absorb or decrease the oxygen that is present that is alkaline and prior color next we have is anaerobic jar such as um, uh, magnesium flats it basically consists of metal jar or glass jar and it consists of lead which is airtight and the in uh, lid actually has two inlets one is gas inlet and one is gas outlet and the lid also has two terminals that are connected to the uh, that are connected to the electric supply and under the lid what is present is we have a spool which is uh, made of pork lane and it is wrapped with a layer of asbestos now how does it work basically the inculated plates are placed inside the jar and the lid is clamped airtight and the outer tube what it does is that it's basically connected to a vacuum pump and the air inside is evacuated and the outlet tab is then we close it and the inlet tab is uh, connected to the hydrogen supply so uh, we remove the oxygen and we add in hydrogen and then the electric terminals are connected to a current supply so that then we heat the dispatch stores uh, by the electric terminals and uh, and they act as basically a catalyst for combining of the hydrogen with the residual oxygen so to remove the remaining hydrogen we use oxygen 
we also have gas pack which is basically a disposable envelope and it basically contains chemicals which generate h2 and co2 and, and when we add water to it and it consists of a gold catalyst which is present in the and uh, which is present in the envelope and uh, it contains an indicator methylene blue strip and uh, so basically uh, Bacteria which are anaerobe, or they will be uh, the color will be colorless. But if when oxygen when oxygen is composed is exposed to that type of bacteria, and the methylene blue will turn blue. Next biological method is basically by absorption of oxygen by incubation with anaerobic or germinating seeds. So basically, we take an anaerobic uh, bacteria and we start growing it. But with it, we also put the aerobic because the aerobic will uh, use up all the oxygen. Uh, or we can also use germinating seeds because germinating seeds require oxygen for the growth. Another we have is reduction of oxygen that is by reducing redu uh, by using reducing agents uh, which is basically 1% glucose and 0.1% thioglycolate. So that is it for culture media and for media types of media and uh, culture media and methods and so on. I hope you guys understood. Please uh, make sure to support and subscribe. Thank you.